Thank you. Oh, I can get it. Thank you. Thank you, man. With Fashion Week, you're not always working with a design aesthetic that might be your personal aesthetic. I mean, with any job, um, there are sometimes when I'm working with a client that I might think their everyday look isn't what I necessarily would do. My job is to collaborate with the designer, with the art director, with the stylist, with the hairstylist, and then to design an appropriate makeup, apply and maintain it. Yesterday with the Avril Lavigne show, it was very rock and roll, but it was important that I took that rock and roll look and made it look a little more fashion forward. And I think that we really accomplished that. And, um, you know, I go back and forth between New York and L.A. Sometimes the L.A. design aesthetic is, is very different. So I have to wear a completely different hat, you know, and design in a completely different way and deal with a completely different set of egos. I'm, I, I try to focus on positives, not negatives. With every aspect of my makeup, you won't ever hear me say, I'm trying to cover something or hide something. For me, it's about bringing something out. Um, and it's the same with designers. If I don't love a textile or a texture, I try and find something maybe in the shape or the line that I can work with and that I like. My goal is always to look at something that feels timely and timeless at the same time because I want the makeup to feel modern, but I also want it to feel on point. But I never want someone to look back at a picture and say, oh, that's so, 2012, do you know what I mean? I think the biggest struggle for a lot of young artists is understanding the balance between art and commerce. I think that this is a business and so many people want to be arty and they always want to throw on a crazy lash or a, a funky color, but really most of what I do is managing people and um, collaborating and understanding people. I get more work because I'm nice than anything else. But you have to understand the balance. You have to have that kind of yin and yang because if you don't understand the business aspect of it, you really can't go on to the next level and book the big jobs. When you're younger, I think sometimes that can be difficult because you really want to prove your artistry. Um, my first Karl Lagerfeld show, for example, with Linda Cantello as an assistant, everyone was so excited to be working with Karl Lagerfeld and the look that Linda designed was concealer and mascara and a brow and people were so disappointed, but I thought it was so impactful. And so I guess for me, I always look at the why of the choices and the how of the application, and that is very exciting to me. I'm very fortunate that artists want to work with me. Um, it's just unfortunately, like I said, I, had, I literally had, with no exaggeration, over 300 people on Facebook and email contacting my agency trying to get on um, shows for really what came down to three to seven spots for the entire week. And I'm keying 12 shows. I wouldn't look at not getting on a team for fashion because rejection it really is just the sheer number of artists. When I started, there were hundreds of artists working. Now there are thousands and thousands of makeup artists. At the Makeup Show in New York, we have 7,800 people that come through the door that are all pros. One of the things that I like to do as a makeup artist is I mentor my assistants and not everybody does that. With some people when you're assisting you really are assisting, you're cleaning brushes, you're carrying bags, you're walking your dog. With me it, it isn't that way. Um, I like to mentor people because I had great mentors like Billy B, Linda Cantello, Sharon Galt. So I rather would have five people a season that I can mentor and help move on than to have, um, you know, 50 people that I'm not connecting with. It is an industry where you're constantly being put up for jobs and constantly auditioning in a way. You know, there are so many jobs that I think I would be perfect for that I don't get and I, I have to maintain um, a positive perspective on it. And that's really what it comes down to sometimes is not not even just the artistry, but the personality. I need to be with people that I can work with for 20 hours, you know? And uh, I don't think you can take it personal. I think it is still a business and you've got to look at it that way.